So uh, then I will continue with our last speaker, not the least. We're going now from how things are done more into the training uh, of, of, of these uh, skills that are needed and using also new tools for this. And for that, I welcome uh, Hendrik Monses from, uh, he's a scientist at the Leibniz uh, Institute of Freshwater Ecology and Inland Fisheries in Berlin. He's a member, uh, which which is also a member of the German ETIP mirror platform BAMS. Uh, his uh, main research focus is on the Im improvement of aquaponic systems for uh, commercial applications. And he is currently working on the use of uh, virtual re reality technology to provide advanced education solutions from the training in recirculation recirculating aquaculture systems, the so-called VRAS. So um, you can take us uh, into the journey of, of using innovative virtual reality methods in practical aquaculture training, which is a different kind of what we have seen now, but, oh, we don't have, ah, oh, no, sorry. I thought it was the wrong one. Yes, sorry. Uh, Hendrik, your, the floor is yours. Yeah, thanks a lot, Alexandra, and also thanks a lot for the invitation and welcome to my talk, um, Aqua VR, Rust Training in Virtual Reality. So just very briefly, um, I want to give you a bit of information on our background. So in 19, uh, 2019, we got a prize and we were actually able to design a virtual aquaponics farm to explain what this principle is about. And that um, built the foundation to uh, to do a follow-up application um, at the Federal Ministry of Education and Research in Germany. And we uh, luckily got the project, which is called Aqua VR. And the aim of this project is to create a virtual reality RAS for training purposes. And now we are in the exploratory phase, which started in October 2020 and which will last until September 21. And in the moment we are in the middle of the project, um, but the plan is to apply for a second phase, for a feasibility phase in summer 2021. And then if we are lucky, then we would have two years to um, build a prototype and to then afterwards also hopefully um, create a startup for that. And that was it. So let's go to the actual topic now. So what is virtual reality? Virtual reality is a simulated experience that can be similar to or completely different from the real world. And as you can see already here, you need some tools like a headset, but also like here, like some controllers and you need a computer. And one of the strengths of VR is actually the immersion. So if you use a headset, it really creates a, a unique experience and you really dive into the virtual world. And here's an example of our aquaponics farm in virtual reality. So what you see here on the left, oh, sorry, on the left hand side, you can see the RAS system. On the right hand side, you can see the hydroponic system. And in this scenario, um, the greenhouse is based on a rooftop of a skyscraper, which is an example for urban farming. And um, here my colleague tries to feed the fish so you see um, what virtual reality can do for you. It, for example, can open up a tank so that you actually, actually can see the fish. And you can see that the feed is dispersing and you can actually also dive into the tank and have a closer look on the little tilapia. And just, this is just a little example on how virtual reality can do things for you. And there was a reason to think about how we could use VR for us training. Since RAS are technically pretty complex, and also the construction of RAS is associated with high investment costs, the training in running RAS is often pretty difficult, especially with regard to extreme scenarios. And sometimes it's also the case that well-trained stuff is difficult to find. So what we found out is that education of stuff is often country specific. Here in Germany, for example, I know we are not a famous RAS country in the moment, but um, if you want to become a fisherman and you want to be able to um, use a RAS, um, you have the option to take one of three governmental training schools, and then you would have additional practice partners um, where you can actually get some um, ideas of a real RAS. Of course, there are also a lot of university offering pretty good courses, but sometimes this could lack practice. 
then of course you have the big companies, the aquaculture companies who also offer in-house training courses, but these are often not open for external um, personnel. And external, the classical external courses are often classroom based or location based if you're lucky that there is an, a real RAS next by. But normally it's not possible to train any kind of extreme scenarios. So what is the aim of Aqua VR? Um, it's the improvement of rust training by practicing different scenarios as close to practice as possible and to gather experience without jeopardizing actual production and real operations. To link theory and practice in VR uh, and to teach to think in circles. I will just explain to you what I mean by that. This is a little research RAS that we have here at our research institute. So basically you have the fish production and in the back just behind the wall, there's a water treatment um, unit. So it's pretty obvious. If you have any kind of malfunction, it's easy to dis um, discover it. It could be like uh, an oxygen probe that needs to be cleaned. Maybe it's a drum filter, but it's pretty easy to discover the malfunction. But in a very, very big commer co commercial RAS, this is pretty difficult sometimes. So it's very important to think in circles to be able to find the malfunction as soon as possible. Our next steps are now to choose a RAS design that actually fits best for our training purposes. And then we add, actually have to draw our VR environment in 3D. So you can see it like here, we actually create uh, the RAS um, in 3D and then there would be a training environment available. Uh, afterwards, we will have to develop different scenarios. A very basic one would be something like, there's a red light coming up and you have to think about, oh, what could that be? Maybe it's just a drum filter, but you also have to kind of interact with the control panel. And next to that, we also want to offer tailored lessons. So what you could do in VR is, you can um, implement videos to explain certain situations, but what you could also do in VR is you can open up filter systems like here the moving bed filter or if you see here on the bottom uh, the uv treatment you can open the filtration unit you can explain um, the mechanisms behind it and this is not possible in a real ras the advantages of our virtual aquaponic uh, of our virtual recirculating aquaculture system is that it's location independent um, a virtual rust present teaching content online and offline um, that there's no need to maintain cost intensive rust only for training purposes which normally not done um, living organisms are not put at risk um, and scenarios are developed with the involvement of practical partners scientists and educators um, so that a wide range of problems and situations can actually be simulated. Our team consists in a moment of researchers from IGB, as well as our um, business partners. Um, uh, Spranger is a partner for uh, 3D construction of the RAS facility. Mr. Förster is responsible for actually implementing our VR into uh, our VR scenarios into the 3D model and Atreneo is our partner for um, business advice. And here are some ideas for future collaborations. Um, we are thinking about to offer a, a online workshop to discuss essential scenarios and ideas. Um, we also, what we want to do in, in, in the next stages is, is to offer individualized training systems as well as tool for manufacturers, for example, for online troubleshooting. Another option would be augmented reality for RAS units, but that is out of scope for now. Um, and of course, it would make things much easier in terms of customer interactions over long distances online. Yeah, and that's from my side. So if there are any questions, just feel free to ask me. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, very inspiring. And uh, yeah, will surely be, uh, will be very interesting for a lot of students and also people who are interested in this. So um, before we go to the, to the questions, address 